Hey you what's up my wild mustaches and welcome back to another wild video. Today we're going to be discussing some subjects just like I did last Friday but it's actually on Saturday so basically I do apologize for that but I will be going over some things that I think you're going to find interesting and also too as well very you know um, basically helpful. So that's it let's get right into it. Hold up. All right, mustaches, we're going to be going over a few things, and I think you're going to like it. Um, first off, we're going to actually go over RNG God. I'm actually pretty mad with RNG God. Don't get me wrong. My luck has changed because I got my legendary. Yeah, as you can tell, I got my legendary, and it's pretty amazing. I am so happy because, you know what? To be honest with you, I've been waiting for this for a while, and I got it out of a mythic catch. Like, not really a catch. It's just a mythic chest, um, plus chest. And it was actually, I think, part a uh, plus two yeah, it was a plus two and a one chest, and that was pretty cool because I was like, wow, I didn't even know I got it. I actually got it from, um, I got an item, and I'm like, oh, and then I saw it, I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> and I had a legendary, and I'm like, wow, this is really cool. Now, um, that said, legendaries really do help a lot. It's not the best one for me. I mean, yes, my, um, my basically my Howling Blast does 40% more damage, um, actually my that are affected by or most most is winter. I don't understand it. I do understand it. If you can let me know in the comments below, if you're a DK, I do understand that I have to do remolsus winter first, and then um, what's it called? Everybody's gonna be affected around me. That do howling blast. Do I have to keep spamming howling blast to get to the thing, or does it just the ticks that are or howling blast that does? I don't know. Just let me know in the comments below. And also too, I want to go over some stat changes for uh, DKs and a few other things. It just makes me so mad because I put so much time in crit. Uh, on DKs and yes, Frost DKs were actually um, crit uh, crit bound when Legion first hit, and it was for a while until like this week. And I put so much effort. I luckily I'm not one of those people who always just chance everything, which I, I should. But still, the point is, what's called I did it. So I had all this haste haste gear that was better that I never used because I thought, man, uh, well, we don't need haste, but now we need haste. Luckily for me, I saved all that good gear. So saved it. I got my gear. Now I'm wrecking DPS. You don't understand how good I'm wrecking DPS, which I'll be doing a live stream pretty soon if you want me to. I'll probably do a live stream Sunday. How about that? Or maybe tonight. I don't know. But anyways, the point is, is that um, it, it ticks me off that they changed the stat to haste. And I'm like, wow, this is like a big letdown because I put so much time and effort in it. Let me know kind of too as well that if you actually done that before, like you bought all this stuff and you're like, yeah, man, I'm going to wreck. And all of a sudden something changes and you're like, what? I spent all my gold. I did all my time just for this. <laughs> I got rid of all the items I needed. So that's it, guys. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, my mustaches, we are back. And I do want to say the reason why I do segments is because I feel like it's more natural. And to be honest, you, I'd rather do that than actually mess up at the end and be like, ah, oh, dang, I had to do it all over again. But anyways, the point is I'm going to go over some stuff in WoW that I think that you're going to feel, feel just like I do. And I think it's really frustrating for a lot of people. Now, the thing is, a lot of people say this class is better than that class and so forth, and I understand it, and that's true, okay? That is very true, but remember, it all depends on a player. I'm a Frost DK. I shouldn't be out DPSing a Fire Mage, a Feral Druid, a Warrior, and so forth. I shouldn't because they're really good. Now, the thing is that with the, the lack of um, certain things in Frost DK, it makes us a less DPS. Now, if they would fix us, we would actually be wrecking DPS. Now, the problem is, is this, okay? Most people say, well, we, I don't want to take a Frost DK because you suck, blah, blah, blah. You can't judge like that. That's the one thing I hate about Legion. Everybody's like, I don't want to take a Warlock. I don't want to take a Frost DK because they suck. Dude, it depends on the player. It really does. Like, I all, all the Mythic Pluses I joined yesterday and even the day before, I wrecked the DPS. I was getting 400k and 500k and so forth and everything. Just yesterday, when I got my Legendary and I figured out that Haste was the best because I was a noob and didn't check Icy Veins every day like I'm supposed to. But to be honest with you, if, and on my fair side, they just changed it. So that said... I actually changed my gear to haste and I'm wrecking. I have a good trinket, two good trinkets. One of the trinkets actually gives me a proc of either unholy, blood, or frost, which which gives me 4,500 uh, mastery, crit, or haste. And that's amazing. It, it makes, literally, I am getting 800k off of bosses in Mythic Plus. And I'm like, what the freak? Whenever it actually goes. But the point is, is that people judge, okay? They're like, man, this class sucks, this guy's not going to be good. But every time I get in like a raid or a, uh, a Mythic Plus dungeon, I'm wrecking that DPS. And they're like, oh, I had people say, oh, man, you're pretty good. I didn't know Frost DKs did it. It's not the point that Frost DKs can do it. 
I'm a high eye level. I actually made 861 now. So I'll be ready for the Tuesday's Mythic. Uh, actually, Tuesday's uh, Mythic 25. No, no, Heroic 25 for the um for the Mr. Panda raids. Y'all got to see how this is uh, happens. It's amazing. But anyways, the point is, the point is, is that it all depends on a player. If you're out there making a group, please, please understand that some people can do really good at that class. But then there's some people who can't. Now, yes, it's easier to say, well, you know what? I'm just going to take the, take the you know, the lower end of the, the ladder and say that they just can't play it because, you know, it's a bad class. Or, hey, it's not the best class. Now, I, like, I'm a, like I said, I go in every Mythic Plus and I wreck. I, I just wreck. And people are surprised by it. They're like, man, this and that. And it looks, a lot of people, a lot of people too, as well, say, you know what? A Frosty Case looks like they're doing good on AoE. And, yes, we are doing amazing. Don't get wrong, Unholy is doing good, but you know what? I'm sorry, but Unholy is just so boring. Boring, boring, boring. It is, and I love Frost DK. And yes, you could say the same thing about Frost DK is boring. But still, the point is, I love the, love the class, but that's for every class. Don't judge until you see the player. The player is the player, okay? Now, that said, guys, let's move on to the next thing, the final thing. I know you're probably like, you're talking about Frosty Caves 24-7, but hey, that's my special sheet. All right, my mustache, so if you waited this long, we actually came to the gold section of it. So, yeah, congratulations, and I'm going to high-five you if you actually made it. But, yeah, um, I do want to say, too, as well, uh, I do apologize if it's not the video you've been looking for. I do have so many gold videos starting tomorrow. I know WoW versus videos is not the best thing in the world, but I do have so many many so many wild versus videos coming out and also too i want to let y'all guys know i'm i really appreciate all the support you give me i know i have only put one video out since you know yet like thursday and after that it wasn't a video since last friday but now i promise that i'll have a video up every day i i do apologize for that now i will say too as well that this gold um, advice i'm going to give you right now is really good and probably well known but it's most likely not known to a lot of people now the thing is is that you, and you notice I've been talking about Mythic Dungeons. I've been doing Mythic Dungeons a lot, a lot. Now, don't get wrong. You always get um, you always get gear almost, okay? You sometimes don't and so forth. Now, the thing is, when you do Mythic Dungeons, you get um, epic items. You don't get a rare and all stuff. Now, if you do Heroic Dungeons, you get either a rare, a rare piece or so forth. Now, the reason why I'm talking is because this is one of many ways to get Chaotic Crystals. Yes, I've talked about Chaotic Crystals, and you probably know already know by now. Uh, hopefully you do. If you don't, I'm just so you know, I'm going to advise you about what you need to do. You need to get these Chaotic Crystals. So right now, it's only a 10% drop whenever you actually disenchant stuff, and that is very, very bad. Now, it used to be better, but since the nerf, which was a couple of days ago, the prices have raised real quick like literally each one of them is a thousand something these are the new these are the new norm now the thing is is that the way to get these uh, chaos crystals fast is just spamming mythic dungeons spam 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 and i was talking about mythic plus dungeons and the reason why i say that is because most of the time you're going to get the stuff that you don't need inside the the chest and you can actually disenchant those now want you want to do all the world quests too as well do all of them that have a item that actually is epic now even if it doesn't have an epic item do it because it can actually upgrade to an epic item and it could be a, a chaos crystal chaos crystals are something you really really need right now for a lot of things and they're worth a lot like i said that is my goal advice for you i think that you know going through that way and actually doing it it might take a little bit of time but do it and especially if you're actually leveling up leveling up is a good thing do ults from uh, basically 100 to 110, level up. You're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of epic items. And once you do that, you're going to actually be able to disenchant them. So basically, let's have a, a let's have your your character who's leveling up from 100 to 110 be a disenchanter. Because if you are, your Chaos Crystals, you can get Chaos Crystals out of that. Now, I'm not for sure you that you'll always get Chaos Crystals. <laughs> Sometimes you won't because like lower uh, epic gear doesn't work all the time. It goes to um, basically um, uh, the other crystals from Wad. I forgot what they're. Temporal Crystals. There it is. Temporal crystals always come out of lower end. So I'm not for sure about the leveling, but if you can get some good gear and leveling, that's great. Or you could just make crafting gear. Try to find the, the cheapest epic crafting gear that's above 800 and see what you can do. Like I said in my, one of my previous videos, which will be in the description, and I actually um, made that video a while back. Chaos crystals were always going to be basically a good norm of money. And a lot of people didn't watch that video, but I made a good video basically showing you how you can do it. Now that's it guys, I will be going over some spots this coming up week that you will love that you can get, you know, gain a lot of resources for a crafting, okay? So basically stay tuned for that guys. If you enjoyed this video and if you want to see a lot more of this or if you actually have some questions or if you didn't like this video, either way, give a like, give a dislike, you know, comment, share guys. It really helps. Thank you guys for everything. It 
you know, this is this is awesome. I love doing videos like this. Not just pure gold all the time. You know, maybe some gold advice, maybe some talk. If you like that, please like, subscribe, comment. And as always, stay stashy. Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my video, so click it, maybe. Oh, you're still here? Don't be surprised if you find something you like. Click that link, and maybe subscribe.